My book, The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian, uh, has been on the top 10 list of the American Library Association's banned books. A couple of years ago, it was number two. The only uh, book that was more banned than mine was Antango Makes Three, the uh, picture book that was the true story of uh, two gay penguins at the Bronx Zoo uh, raising orphaned chicks. So apparently, the uh, ambitious book banners of the United States thought two gay penguins were more dangerous than a reservation Indian boy who mentions that he likes masturbation. <laughs> uh, you know, I tell that story because of its absurdity and the absurdity of book banning uh, on a philosophical, political, emotional, realistic uh, <laughs> uh, manner. I, I, you know, growing up, I read everything. Uh, for good or bad. My parents didn't censor anything I watched or saw, and I turned out relatively okay. Uh, but the big thing is that, you know, I knew what was happening in the world. I didn't necessarily have all the tools necessary to uh, survive a lot of it. You know, I always say that adults have two or three more tools to deal with the difficulties of the world than kids do. And the one thing I always sniffed out instantly was condescension. And as soon as an adult condescended to me, I, I, I shut them out completely. And actually, I think most literature designed for uh, young people is condescending. And when they run into a book that is not, a book that is realistic, a book that you know, deals with their emotions and their lives in a respectful, honest, often bloody and painful way, uh, you know, they're invigorated, they're excited. I mean, they go crazy. You know, I've had a long career, 20 years of doing this, and I didn't write my first YA until 17 years into it. And the response from young folks has been amazing. Uh, and I have not received any emails or letters from kids or their parents describing how my work has harmed them. In fact, I've received thousands of letters from all sorts of kids who have been changed uh, by the book, who you know, my favorite letters are the ones to get from boys, reluctant readers who say it's the uh, only book they've ever finished, which on one hand is really sad, but on the other makes me hope that my book becomes their gateway uh, into other books. The parents who try to ban books are being condescending to their own children, uh, but you know, I fully support their right to decide what their children read. But they don't get to decide what other children read. They don't get to decide what a community reads. And that's always the end game of censorship and book banning. The effort to control thought uh, and the effort to uh, get rid of anything controversial, get rid of anything challenging. And uh, I'm going to fight that. And, you know, I've heard critics say that the efforts to ban books are, are there's not very many of them. Uh, but the fact is, is that one is dangerous, and, and that's where it begins. And uh, regardless of the national scope, any individual book banning in any community affects that community. And I know there are kids who need these books, and I know there are kids like me uh, who aren't frightened by these books, but, but you know, dream of them. Uh, immodestly speaking, I only wish uh, when I was young and growing up on the reservation that there was a book like mine about alcoholism and death and destruction and, and violence and, and yes, uh, masturbation uh, because that's real life and that's what I was living.